Hey, what's up, Internet? This is Constant from Minecraft Friends here doing another tutorial. This week, we're doing Mine Reset, taking a quick break from the multiverse. I'll do inventories next week. Uh, this came in because it was a special request from one of my viewers, um, all five of you. Anyway, I hope this helps you out. I used, I've used i been using this for a while. This is the next iteration of Mine Reset, and it's called Prison Mine Reset. It, the author is Bitwolfy, and uh, I think he's actually the same guy who did Mine Reset, so it's a very similar. I really like it. I've tried a few other ones, but uh, this one's very versatile. does a lot of stuff. So here we go. There's really no config file on the back end, so we'll just get right into it, and here we are. So um, I already got a little bit created. And uh, this is where our mind's going to be. Uh, it kind of works with the same cuboid effect as World Guard, all that stuff. But it doesn't use the wand from World Guard. So if you want to start, um, we're going to go... Oh, just an overview of what we're going to do. We're going to create a mine, uh, which is what we're going to do here. You want to define every corner. And then we're going to set uh, a timer, so it'll reset on a... It's the same time every day or, you know, every eight hours, four hours, whatever you want to set. And then we're going to put warnings so the users know when it's going to reset so they're not inside of when it resets. Then we're going to link a couple mines together. Oh, it's getting darked out. That's fine. Uh, we're going to link a couple mines together so that if you have multiple mines, they all reset at the same time. And then we're going to go over permissions so that your users know how to, you know, so your users can edit the mine, you know, mine the mines and know when the broadcasts are and all that stuff. There's a few little bugs with it, but uh, the author is going to update them pretty quick. And um, here we go. All right. So I got my mine here. We're going to go H position one to define one. And it's going to be wherever you point. That's where that's going to be. Then you come over here to the next side. So we're going to do the same thing, only we're going to do two. So that's uh, that defines each corner of our mine. So now we're going to come back. And we're going to do mine, save. And then we're just going to call it test. So there we go. Test is created successfully. Then we're going to go mine, edit, test is the name of it. And that's the name of the mine. So... Um, that just selects what mine we're going to work on, what we're, which one we're going to edit. So then we're going to go mine, add, and then 17 is uh, oak or whatever. And then we're just going to do 95%. Now this goes all the way down to decimals and .0 decimals, um, which I use in some of my mines because even like 1% of diamonds in a massive space is a lot of diamonds. So we're going to do that. And then the only the only thing that you have to go by is here. It always has to add up to 56 or uh, 56. Sorry. Um, 56 is the item ID for diamond ore, which is the next one I'm going to do. It always has to add up to 100% uh, for it to work. It'll give you an error if you go over 100%, so don't worry. And um, maybe you added something, then you decide, wait, I don't want to add that. You can just always do mine, remove, and then the item ID, um, you know, and then the percentage. So... But we're not going to do that. All right, now that we have what we're going to do, it's going to be, uh, you can do as many things as you want or as little as you want. We just did two for the test here. So we're, once you have it all in there, you have to reset it for, to see your work. So there's your there's my handiwork. Uh, you can see the diamond ore in there and the oak ore. And um, as you notice here, just to note, I uh, changed the English thing. If you do want to change that, you do have to go in the config. It's pretty easy. Just change the English.yml. Um, I won't go over that. Uh, you can figure that out. So now that with our mind still set, we're going to turn on the timer. So timer toggle. Uh, whoop. Trigger time toggle. There we go. Sorry, I did that a little backwards. That's fine. So now the time trigger's on, but it's not set to anything. All right, so now we want to set the time to it. We're just going mine, trigger, and then we're going to do, I think uh, I think it goes by seconds. So we're going to do, nope, that goes by minutes. We're going to do every minute. Yep, no, it goes by seconds. So now it'll reset by itself every 10 seconds, which we're not going to see because, uh, well, we can always see what, what the reset is, and it's going to do that. I don't know why it's set to that, but uh, that's fine. Anyway, so then we want to go mine, warning, toggle. So we're going to turn on the warning. Actually, they're off, so we're going to turn them on. We go mine, trigger, oh, warning, sorry, add, and then uh, we'll just 
tell it to do 10 seconds. So even though it says minutes, uh, it's hours, minutes, and seconds there. And it's going to uh, warn the users at 10 seconds, which we can see if we do info test. I don't know why uh, the time is set to 13 minutes and 15 seconds, and it's not even updating. Oh, yeah, it is updating. But um, in any case, we don't really need to see the, the time uh, there. Um, I already got a child mine over here created, and it's just called child. So to link a mine, you basically you'll create another mine, and then we're gonna link it. So test is the parent. So when test is reset, both of them get reset. So then we're gonna go mine, uh, edit, child. So we're gonna select child, and then we do mine set parent test. So now it's gonna set child to test. So. There it is, and then what we do, we'll look at child here because we know uh, the test works. So we're gonna go mine, reset. So if you wanna manually reset your mines, this is what you do. Well, it's linked. Uh, apparently, looks like uh, if you manually reset it, they don't automatically reset all of them. So just to know it, it's a little different. Mine reset did that, but this one does not. Um, but as you can see, every 10 seconds, our warnings are working, or our warnings are not working, which is part of the uh, one of the bugs with mine reset, but that's fine. Uh, he's going to update that soon, which I will uh, put an annotation on there. Um, and they keep resetting here. So while those are resetting, I'm going to go over a few the permissions things. So now you got this all set up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to turn that off. Trigger, time toggle. Actually, no, we got to set. All right, mine edit uh, test. Mine, trigger, time, toggle. All right, so those stop from resetting. All right, now I'm going to go over uh, a few of the, the permission nodes that your users need. Anybody who needs access to the mine to be able to mine them, you need to put uh, prison.mine.normal, which you can see uh, here. And then um, in order for them to see the time remaining, they need, oh, this is, I'll go over this in a moment, but they need prison.mine.info.time. So, I'm going to de-op myself real quick. De -op. So I'm no longer op. And then basically, they'll if they have this permission, they can then just do mine info test. And it's going to tell them, uh, it's going to tell them when it gets reset next, which I turned off. But um, there you go. It would show up in there. Um, I actually have a shortcut. But um, so my, my users do mine time. But um, which it goes to my VIP, which, yeah, anyway, I, this is on my dev server. Anyway, the last thing that you need to put the, have permissions to is prison.mine.reset.broadcast. This is lets everybody see when it's going to reset and those warnings you set up. However, like I said, it doesn't really work at the moment, but it will once he updates it. A um, couple things that the mine reset uh, doesn't do yet, but, uh, or not, nah, excuse me, couple more things if you want to get more in depth with prison mine uh i'll go over these in another tutorial but uh you can you can set it up so a sign can reset the mines it'll just cost the players so much money whatever you set to it uh you can also set up a composition reset so when a certain percentage of the mine is air it'll reset uh, automatically and then there's also a way you can set up dynamic mines which will show you when you know uh show when the prison mine will reset next and all that kind of stuff so that's uh my tutorial prison mine um it is kind of complicated but the wiki is fantastic and if you ever run into problems you can comment on bucket website and uh bitwolf is really good at getting back to people otherwise comment in my uh, youtube video and i'll do my best to answer your questions and um there you go have fun and as always enjoy the game yeah i was hitting him with a fish because i don't have a freaking sword Friendship cube. Good God. Who got the disc? Not very oh, friendly. I got the disc. Oh, you're not friendly to the friendship. You're